Hello again, do you remember we had that test about uh, internal resistance of the rechargeable batteries? In my case, it is nickel metal hydride uh, echoes. And, uh, you know, I was trying to find what's the optimum or the ideal, you know, uh, internal resistance for this kind of uh, batteries or this kind of cells. So uh, <laughs> I just went to a shop, you know, and bought me two brand new ones from switch on or something AAA 950 milliamps and now let's open it up okay we can do it from here and these are brand new and let's see let's check it out okay very simple measurement like in the book 25 milliamps this is 27. Hmm. It's kind of, uh, yeah. It's not a huge difference, but matters. 25. That should be perfect. 27. Hmm. We see, probably, these guys are just laying on the on the shelf for years do we have any numbers here when it was made no I can't understand it in anything no I can't I can't see any numbers so it's very possible uh, they've been on the shelf for some time but i have exactly the same echoes here this is my bicycle light i'm using it often and let's see about these ones they've been in use for one year or something 29 okay oh come on and 26 28 27 27 it was like 29 oh yeah okay so it's looking like 25 milliohms it's the ideal internal resistance for at least this kind of consumer you know these are not special you know they are very uh, let's say cheap i uh, paid like one euro per each so they are pretty cheap you know okay i hope it's useful guys like subscribe and don't forget have fun bye bye